Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install I Hate Money on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So I got a request to make a another video for I Hate Money. I made a video for Dockage, but I'm gonna be go, going over in this video on how to install it in Portainer. Um, Michael asked me, could you make a video of I hate money for a portainer? And I'm doing that just now. So if you have uh, suggestions for more videos, please suggest them uh, on Big Bear Community. So I hate money is a shared budget manager, a web application. It helps you split bills. Um, so uh, if it, it keeps track of who bought what and when and whom uh, for whom and helps you settle bills. Um, if you go to the website, this is what it will look like. And I, uh, you just create a project and you log in. So that's what we'll, way we'll be installing today. So now I'm going to be going over the Docker compose in big bear video assets. There will be a link down in YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to search in here for, I hate money. And then now I'm going to go to how to install I hate money on Portainer right here. So I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3.8 Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear I hate money. And then the container name is going to be set to Big Bear I hate money. This makes it to where Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. The image is uh, coming off Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The ports are 8001 on the host and 8000 on the container. Now, if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. Do not change the containers port right here. So the environment variables, the secret key, the uh, database URI, and the uh, uh, activate admin a dashboard is set to true. The admin password, we will need to generate this by SSHing into the portainer and running this command. And then um, session cookie secure is false, so we don't get any errors. Restart and let's stop. stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then we'll try to restart. And then networks are Big Bear I Hate Money Network. That is a network that's defined down the bottom. And then um, now we're going to define the service to where we're going to store the data. So this right here is going to connect to the this service right here with these credentials. And then it's going to store the data in this database. And it's MariaDB. So Big Bear I Hate Money, a DB is the service. And it's underneath services right here. And then the image is coming off Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The container name is going to be called Big Bear I Hate Money DB. This is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And then environment variables. So MySQL root password, MySQL database, and MySQL user, and MySQL password. Uh, so these should rhyme with this up here. So uh, this is the MySQL user. The password is the MySQL password. The the uh, s a service name right here is Big Bear I Hate Money DB. That runs the service name. And then I Hate Money is the MySQL database name. So now we're going to come down here to the ports. So uh, 3306 is on the host side. And then on the container side is 3306. Do not change the con container side. Volumes. So Big Bear MySQL data. That is a volume that's defined down here. And um, it is on the host. And then on the container side is var lib MySQL. So networks are Big Bear I Hate Money Network. And that's defined right here. So these two services are in the same network. 
It's a bridge network and um, a vo volumes down here to find. So I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, this raw file. Then I'm going to get over, I go over to my portainer and get this setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my portainer. I'm going to go to local stacks and then add stack up here. I'm going to give it a stack name of um, I hate money stack. So uh, par partainer stacks, uh, I deploy with Docker Compose. Um, so now I'm going to come down, down here to the web editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose. Um, so now after this, we will need to generate the admin password. So I'm going to copy that. And then now I'm going to go deploy the stack. And then now once that's done, I'm going to go over there to create the password. And then I'm going to come back here and put that in. So now I'm going to paste in the Docker run and I'm going to um, run it. So this is going to generate a SHA-256. So, so now it's asking for the password. So I'm going to put one in. And then now it's going to generate the SHA-256. So I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this set up in the Docker Compose. So now I'm going to set the admin password that we got from the uh, the command that we run and uh, in, in the last uh, section. So now I'm going to go to local stack and then I hate money stack right here and I'm going to go up to editor. Now I'm going to go to the admin password right here. I'm going to paste in the SHA-256. Now if you need that docker run command uh, that I pasted in and I ran to get the SHA-256, you can copy it right here. It's in the docker compose. So now before we move on, we're going to need to uh, escape these dollar signs and we're going to need to add another dollar sign. So these two do dollar signs sh should turn into four. So now I'm going to scroll down to update the stack and then I'm going to update. And now we we've set the admin password. So now I'm going to go over the portainer's UI. So I'm going to go in the local and then stack and then I hate money stack. So, so now up here, uh, you can go to editor and you can edit the Docker Compose. And um, you can come down here to update the stack. Now, now you can also repull the image and redeploy. That means that it'll repull the fresh image off the registry. And if the developer pushes to that image tag, then uh, if you're using the latest tag or... Uh, uh, another tag that the developer uh, pushes to, and then you can check mark this, and then I'll re re pull that fresh code off of that registry, and then I redeploy it. So, um, and now if you go back over to stack, you can see actions up here. So you can stop this stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack, and stack duplication slash migration. You can see the containers in the stack right here. So uh, there's two containers right now. Um, if you go in the cont container, you can see actions up here. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, sauce, edit. This is the actions for the container. And then the container status, logs, great for debugging, inspect, stats, console, attach, access controls. And then the create image, the, uh, the image and then the port configuration. So 8001 is on the host and 8000 is on the container. The command, the entry point, the environment variables right here. And then the labels, the restart policy. And you can change that here and then press update. You can also see the volumes that are created. You can see the connected networks. Um, so the, the same thing uh, goes for the other ones. I'm going to go back into the 
stack. So now I'm going to go to the Big Bear I Hate Money ADB and the actions up here in container status, the logs, inspect, stats, console, and attach, access control, create image. Uh, the image is different because this is pulling MariaDB. And then the port configuration, and then a command, and then the entry point, the environment variables, the labels, and you can set a restart policy, and then a volumes, and then connect the networks. So that's a little about uh, Portainer's UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So um, the Portainer's IP address, and then 8001, if you didn't change the host port, so now I'm going to go to it. So now you can log into an existing project or you can create a new project. You can also go down here and go to the administration dashboard. And now you will need to type in the password that you put in the admin password when you generated in the, um, the, ter the terminal. So now I'm going to put mine in and then submit. So now we're in the administration uh, dashboard. So you can see the uh, pro projects. So, so if you go up here to the top right, you can create a new project or go to the dashboard or log out. Um, so I'm going to just say testing and then testing and then um, a private code and then the email address. And now I'm going to say submit. So now we're in our new project. So um, you can go over here to the da a dashboard and you can see it did add in the admin dashboard and you can edit it and um, see it. So now you can settle st statistics. So you can add a bill, so you can add a participant. So I'm gonna just do testing and then um, I'm gonna do Jane. So now we have two participants here. You can also invite people and um, you can deactivate and edit. Um, you can also settle statistics. So that's a little bit about I Hate Money. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting I Hate Money working on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.